Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use hex code for specific colors. Okay, so did you know that there was other ways to represent colors in CSS? Uh, one of these ways is called hexadecimal code or hex code for short. We usually use decimals or base 10 numbers which use the symbol 0 to 9 for each digit. Hexadecimal or hex are base 16 numbers. This means it uses 16 distinct symbols. Like decimals, the symbols uh, 0 to 9 represent the value 0 to 9. Then A, B, C, D, E, F represent the value 10 to 15. Together, 0 to F can represent a digit in hexadecimal, giving us 16 total possible values. You can find more information uh, about hexadecimal numbers by clicking this link. And that link takes you to a Wikipedia page. Um, in CSS, we can use six hexadecimal digits to represent colors, two each for red, green, and blue components. For example, pound, uh, and then it's got zero six times, is black, and is also the lowest possible value. You can find more information about uh, RGB or red, green, blue color system by clicking this link, and that's just to the Wikipedia page for red, green, blue color model. Um, in here, it has... It shows you that the body is styled with the color of, uh, of the pound symbol and then six zeros, which means that the body is black. And so what we want to do is replace the word black in the body element's background color with the hex code representation of pound zero, 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 zero. And so this might be the easiest one ever. We just go like that and it stays black and this should pass our tests. Okay, just because we passed the test, I'd like to go into a little bit more depth on this. Now, if I open up Photoshop and I create a new document, you can see I can use a photo, uh, I can use a paint bucket to select different hexadecimal numbers. Now, if you notice down here on this section right here is where the hexadecimal numbers are represented. And so this is the different ways that the hexadecimal numbers work. We can just scroll around here and just get very, basically every color on the palette. And you'll see that the hexadecimal numbers are, very, are varying rapidly depending upon where we are with this. And so, um, yeah, if we wanted to do specific hexadecimal numbers, we can select a specific color like that and color it in. And we get, you know, a hexadecimal uh, color selection. And this is how you select these. And that's how they look. So I hope this is helpful in understanding how and why we use hexadecimal numbers. And um, because our test passed, we're ready to move on to the next section. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you there.